They're among the most bizarre looking of desert flora. Though they're technically trees, these spiky towers look more like a cross between a palm and a cactus. For a few weeks each spring, many Joshua trees send out large pineapple-shaped crowns of white green flowers. And this year, the blooms are especially large and widespread. Uh, this is an unusual year for Joshua trees. As far as we can tell, the, the entire range of the uh, Joshua trees are in bloom right now. Biologists and ecologists don't quite know what's behind the high volume bloom. Some think the trees are benefiting from just the right climate conditions, while others think the trees are desperately trying to reproduce, stressed by two years of unusually low rainfall. Sometimes plants will bloom when it's maybe their last stages of life. They put out a tremendous amount of energy and say, well, this is it, I'm done, so I'm gonna go out in style. Some scientists think Joshua trees are a harbinger and a victim of a warming planet. A 2011 study by an ecologist at the U.S. Geological Survey predicted that rising temperatures could cause the trees to disappear from 90 percent of their range in as little as 60 years. For now, tourists and nature lovers across the southwest are enjoying perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. Dennis Haynes from Pennsylvania is visiting his family in Southern California. They took him out to see the blooms at Joshua Tree National Park. It's neat with the trees there and the formations of the rocks and then all of a sudden you see bright colored flowers popping out. I think it's gorgeous. I can't wait to bring my wife out here to see it. The Joshua Tree blossoms have this really delicious smell, kind of like peach ice cream. But there aren't that many left in bloom still, so if you want to catch them, you got to come quick or you'll have to wait till next year. Jill Replogle, KPBS News.